Hi, this is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 26, day 3, of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar. And um, you can buy it at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. If you love positive affirmations and you love music therapy, if you love um, essential oils and aromatherapy, you're going to absolutely love this book. Can't, high, can't recommend it high enough for you. Um, that said, the affirmation for this week is, I can digest everything well. Don't you love that? I just love... I just love any affirmation that says, I do it well, right? I think that we all have um, negativity, maybe from outside sources, maybe from an inner voice that's, that's just saying that we don't do things well or not well enough. And um, I think that as we, as we start um, hushing that inner voice that says that we don't do things well, and we start bringing out the inner voice that says, I can digest things well, that we will be able to do that better. Okay, so again, the affirmation is, I digest everything very well. I can. And you can decide whether you want to say, I digest everything very well, or whether you want to say, I can digest everything well, um, or very well. That, how you say or tweak the affirmations is completely up to you. Now, Monday we talked about digesting the things that we hear, and Tuesday we talked about digesting the things that we see. And today, we are going to be digesting talking about digesting some of the things that we feel. Now, uh, feelings is one of my favorite topics to talk about. And we all get hit with many things during the day that we probably wouldn't plan for if we were planning it ourselves. Um, um, different, maybe different people that are being having a hard day and just struggling to be positive. Maybe um, different tasks though. Maybe we, maybe we mapped our road out a certain way and then other things happened and, and we're trying to, we're having to change um, our day as, as things flow into our day. And, um, and so sometimes we can feel sad if people are having a hard day. Maybe we can feel um, frustrated if things aren't going the way we want. Um, maybe we can feel angry or um, hurt or jealous or um, or happy. Um, and and I'm just saying that we have this incredible ability, this re incredible resiliency to digest and and run with and and um, kind of change with everything that comes our way. So in it's 2020 as I'm as I'm filming this video and I remember that my word for 2019 was imperturbable and my my song for 2019 it was the song it is well with my soul and I'll go ahead and put that song in the in the um in the comments of this and I'll, I'll put even the story of the song in the comments of the song it is well with my soul but um no matter what happens to us no matter what happens to you you are going to be just fine you're going to be just fine and if we sometimes feel jealous feelings we can examine where those are going we can peel back the onion we can handle the things that we need to handle and we will be just fine. If we sometimes feel scared feelings or anxious feelings, we can examine that. We can feel it. We can examine it. We can peel back it, 
the onion of our feelings. We can, we can deal with whatever we need to deal with change whatever we need to change to feel safer and and we can move on and let go and we are going to be just fine whatever feelings that you are feeling we don't need to be afraid of them we don't even need to be afraid of anger um we want to handle all of our feelings in good ways right but we don't need to be afraid of them um as as fred rogers always says what do you do with the mad that you feel when you feel so mad you could bite? When the whole wide world seems oh so wrong and nothing at all seems very right. And then he goes on. I'm surprised I know that song. But anyway, I'm, I'm happy I know that song. Anyway, um, but we can go on. We can, we can play the piano. We can create things. We can clean our houses. We can do whatever it is that's healthy for us, that helps us to, to get out some of the hard feelings that we all feel certain at certain times of the day. Um, I know one of my favorite ways to, to just let, to process and then release those feelings is taking a walk with one of my friends or even two of my friends and just chatting Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many times we end up laughing at things that are really, really hard to deal with. Um, and it's not that we're laughing um, about that. It's just that that we're laughing that life, life must think we're awesome because it sure sends us a lot of things um, to work through and to become wiser and stronger over. I think that's what we're laughing at. Anyway, but we don't need to be afraid of our feelings. We don't need to be afraid to examine them and peel back the onions of what's really going on. And we can all handle our feelings in healthy ways. And um, so we can digest everything we feel. We can keep the things that serve us. longer service right that's what we do when we digest we use the good and we get rid of the bad and we can do that with our feelings as well okay so um that's the affirmation for the day again i can digest everything i feel and um the song for the day is this one of two old to Onella, and it's Opus 22, Section 3, by Sibelius. And the, the diffuser blend that we're diffusing all week is grapefruit, which is the oil of honoring the body. And it's, it's a very uplifting oil, as all citrus oils, essential oils are. And then coriander, which is the oil of um, integrity, which can be a very, very calming and sedative oil. And then two drops of peppermint, um, which is the oil of a buoyant heart. You go forward and you're uplifted. To me, that's just like, hope and work and and um faith kind of all rolled into one so hope being grapefruit faith being coriander and work being peppermint now there's so many different ways that we can look at those oils but that's just kind of something that occurred to me as i was chatting with you and sometimes i feel like i'm super inspired on things i say to, for to myself as I'm chatting with you. Okay, so um, it's it's Wednesday, and so we're gonna be going into the emotional aspects of coriander essential oil. Tomorrow we'll be going into the emotional aspects of peppermint essential oil. And as we're trying to stay physically fit and um, boost our immunity, 
um, as I'm filming this, the World Health Organization has just um, declared COVID-19 or the coronavirus, they're the same thing, anyway, um, a pandemic. And so um, we, and so a lot of people could rightly be perhaps a little anxious or even fearful, but I'm just here to tell us that as we stay in a place of peace, a pace, place of love, we are going, our mind is going to stay um, better and we're going to be, be better able to get through whatever it is that life throws at us. And um, coriander essential oil can really help with that. So on Friday, we'll be going into the physical benefits of coriander. But again, today we are going to be going um, into the emotional benefits. Now, um, this is way down on my list, but because in light of everything that's happening today, I wanted to bring it to a, the forefront. So coriander essential oil is um, very, um, has the gift of helping people relax in times of stress and to decrease irritability and to decrease nervousness. So coriander, it can help you relax when you're stressed, if you're tending to get irritable or you're tending to get nervous, coriander can be an, an, an amazing essential oil to diffuse. Um, it can help with nervous exhaustion when we feel that we have so much to do and um, just no time to do it all. Sometimes even just thinking about everything that we have to do can be exhausting and coriander essential oil can help with that. It can help if we're feeling a little bit flat, like we don't even want to do anything. Um, coriander essential oil can help on a deeper level. Okay, so it can help us focus our mind, and on a deeper le level, it can help us change how we feel about ourselves. It can help us realize that we have our own gifts to share with the world, our own inspiration to share with the world, um, and to, to help us calm down and be more willing to share our thoughts and our feelings with others. If you're trapped in a cycle of not serving of serving others and not serving yourself, coriander can help with that. Um, it can help with a heart. It can help with people who have a hard time saying no to other people, putting other people first to the detriment of their own selves. It can help us stand in our own strength and look at our own selves and decide what we most need to do, and then have the determination to go and do it. It can help us take responsibility for our own lives. And, um, well, first of all, I am so all about responsibility. Um, ask my family or my children, I am like, this is our life. And, and we're responsible for building it in the way that we want. We don't always know what life is going to hit us with, but we can always choose how we respond. And coriander helps us remember that. It helps us take responsibility for our actions, for our words, and for our thoughts. And we all control um, our, our thoughts and our actions and our words. Now, disclaimer here, do I think that every single thought that we control every single thought that pops up into our mind. Um, so I'm gonna say no and then yes, and this is why. Because sometimes I think that there's an adversary. Like I believe that there is a God and I really do believe that there's a devil too. And just like God inspires us to do things that are wonderful and good for ourselves and for other people, the devil also sometimes whispers into our ears and, um, tries to get us to, to think badly about ourselves, to think badly about other people, and to quite, tries to get us to do things that we shouldn't be doing, that aren't to our benefit. And um, so, and I think that the devil is very good at mimicking our own voice. And so um, every thought that occurs in our mind, 
I don't believe comes from us. But now that said, I do think that we have the power and the right to kick out the thoughts that we know are not good for us and to not follow the thoughts that we know are not good for us. Okay. Um. Oh, um, so, um, it can give us the strength to get out of thinking that we are the victim of our circumstances and give us the strength to take control of our own lives. It can help us not be pushed around, not be pushed around by circumstances and not be pushed around by other people. Again, helping us know that we have the power to decide how we want to be. So, um, coriander, um, there's it, it comes from a plant, and um, it comes from the cilantro plant. Now, the cilantro is the, the, the beautiful leaves of this plant, but coriander comes from the seeds, and any seed oil will take us back to our core and help us remember who we are. And in my, I, in my faith and in my belief, we are all children of God to act and not be acted upon, who, who have the ability to reach and to try to develop every Christ-like gift, right? Christ said, come follow me. So we have that ability to, to increase our love, increase our hope, increase our faith, increase our kindness, increase every virtue as we try more and more to be like God. Um, Coriander can help us release fears and doubts and release other negative things that tend to drag us down and stop us from doing what our true missions on earth are. We just celebrated, um, I think it's called Purim. Anyway, it's a Jewish holiday that celebrates Esther. Um, and if you're not familiar with the story of Esther, go ahead, you know, pop open your Old Testament and you'll find Esther there. And um, it's basically a woman who saves her people, her, her the people, her nationality um, of people um, in her area. And it's, it's a beautiful story of courage. And um, so that, that was her life's mission, right? She, she came to the earth. To do that just like I believe that George Washington came to the earth to help establish our nation and and um, other people came to the earth like maybe Florence Nightingale to increase um, teach us how to um, to fight diseases and to be better nurses anyway lots of people came to this earth with different missions but I feel like I came to the earth for a certain mission and I know that you came from a, the earth to this earth to accomplish a certain mission as well. So um, let's not let fears or um, frustrations, fear of failure, doubting ourselves, let's not let get, let emotions get us, get in our way of accomplishing our missions. And, and Coriander can do a lot to help release and alleviate those fears and frustrations. Coriander has a bit of heat to it. So it is also help, it has um, been known to be used in helping to bring about loving relationships. So as you're thinking about loving relationships, let's um, let's visualize what we want to happen, and then let's let's help it get there. Right? If we want flowers to grow, we've got to water them. And so if we want relationships to grow, we have to do the things that we know that help those relationships go. And as I'm talking to you, I am definitely also talking to myself on all of this, okay? Um, I'm far from perfect, but I am trying every day. Anyway, um, coriander can help people who tend to put others above themselves or put other people be to, um, beneath themselves to look up or to look down on people and to remind us that we're all children of God. None of us is greater or lesser than anyone else. God loves us all. Just like if you are a parent, you love all your children equally. You care about them all equally. You want 
um, coriander can help with help um, decrease power struggles. So if that's happening in your circle or in your life, um, to start diffusing some coriander oil, we'll talk about diffusing in just a minute, but that can really, really help us remind us that you know what, we don't need to have power struggles. We can get everyone's wisdom, we can all come bring everyone to the table and be equal in how we go about doing things. Um, Coriander can be especially appropriate for creative individuals who struggle when locked into situations or predictability or routine. So if you feel like you're getting locked into a situation, coriander can help us relax. And remember that we have the power to change things. Um, it can be a gentle stimulant for those who have low energy. Um, and um, it can provide a common influence for those who are suffering with shock or with fear. So here's how you want to diffuse it. Um, if you want to feel like you're more empowered, you want to diffuse it um, with cedarwood, vetiver, cinnamon, or cardamom. Now, coriander, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, most people, if they diffuse it, they're just not going to love the way it smells all on its own, which is why we usually, most people usually diffuse coriander with something else. Um, if you want to feel more sociable, definitely you can diffuse it with bergamot, lemon, lemongrass, or ginger. And um, if you want to help with your digestion, diffuse it with ginger. And um, whether you're digesting the physical things or emotional things. And if you want to um, help with your blood sugar, you can um, mix it with cinnamon. Um, and if you want just a really, really good detox, physical or emotional, you can mix it with cilantro essential oil. Okay, so the um, some of the negative emotions that so that coriander essential oil can help with is feeling controlled by others or by your circumstance, and um, self betrayal, and feeling drudgery or feeling like you have to conform. Not feeling like you can share your wisdom and your gifts with the world. Um, and the positive properties that it can help bring in is being true to yourself. Um, hearing and following the inner guidance more. Um, having integrity. And, and, and just being, being, feeling joy in not only the uniqueness of you, but the uniqueness of the times that we are living in. Um, knowing that even in the heart, sometimes in the hardest times, that we have the the best chance to do the most good. Okay, so that's the emotional gifts of coriander essential oil. Again, we're diffu our diffuser blend for the week is two drops of ginger. Um, I'm sorry, two drops of not ginger, two drops of grapefruit, the um, oil of honor in the body, a very uplifting oil. Two drops of coriander, and the oil of integrity, a very peaceful oil. And two drops of peppermint, the oil of a buoyant heart, a very energizing oil. Okay, so the song that we're, that we're listening to this week is the Swan, the Swan of Two Onella, Opus 22, Section 3, by Sibelius. And the affirmation for today is, I can digest everything everything I feel. We can keep the good, let go of the bad. And um, the affirmation for the entire week is, I can digest everything very well. Um, again, keeping the good, letting go of the bad. Okay, this is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life, telling us all that we do have the power in us to make it an amazing, oh, with us and God, to make it an amazing day. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.